Hello, ladies and... No, that's... Uh, that's a terrible western... Oh, I can left-click to move around. Okay. Give me needles. Just browse them. Howdy there, partner. Uh, here we are, sold to the west and something. What's your injury? Uh, I'm knocking out in the showroom. It's gonna dock out something, but she gave up doctoring. Why'd she do that? Nobody knows. She just shut herself up in her office. Said she wouldn't talk to anyone except Nurse Whiskey. Pretty sure she was just being sarcastic. So I need to get some whiskey from the bar. Just thought I'd say howdy. Never mind. Howdy. You. Howdy, Susie. Howdy, cowboy. He's going to be searching the spittoon for his teeth if you don't leave me in peace. Peace. Bye-bye, then. Alrighty. Oh, there's the whiskey. Grab a bottle. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> that was a hell of a dancey thing there. Just one second, please. Ah. Sorry, hairball. Off a whiskey. Whiskey delivery for you, Doc. What brand? Nurse whiskey. Your favorite, I'm led to believe. Didn't know she made house calls. Alright, hold on. That's a lot of TNT. She needs to be further away from the fireplace. So if it's spotless either, she never really came... She's either... Or she never... Ah, bah, bah, bah. Not until you give me that whiskey you promised me. Thank you, whiskey. Whiskey. Stat. She cracks open the whiskey and fills a small flask she takes out of her pocket. Then she puts the flask back in her pocket and starts chugging out of the bottle. That doesn't seem healthy. This is a doctor here. Mail you. Can I have a look at your book? Sure. Uh, you should try being less cheerful, doc. Ooh. Goblinoid tongues. Uh, several bluffs have passed and you know what a bluff is a goblin word for hour. You've learned how to speak goblin. Okay. The legend of Curly's meat. Legendary treasure, a massive chest full of premium meat, secret in the, in a hidden sense, an extruded sense, in the western desert by an old cowhand named Curly Butterfield. This purports to being a Civil War surgeon's autobiography, but flipping through you mostly just find lists of reasons for the drinking alcohol is bad. So it's actually a work of ludicrous speculative fiction. Haha! -ha. There are at least some useful appendices in the back and some diagrams of appendices. Make like a tree and leaf. Preen a little. Yeah. bed. Um, so I've leveled up, right? Haven't I? Ah, here we go. Glamour. Ooh, more meat gain. The quicker I am. Speed. Ooh, more AP. I do want more AP. Grit. Stomach capacity. Moxie. How much damage you deal by when shooting and how much damage you take when getting shot. Okay, so I want gumption. Give me some of that gumption. Do I want another level in gumption though? I do. Okay. Can't upgrade anything else though. Not yet anyway. Okay, um, let's go talk to the goblin. See if we can make a friend. I've also got a lovely cup of tea here, so I'm going to have a quick sip of that. Oh, it's hot. Ooh. Fresh cup of tea. That'll cure what ails me, hopefully. Hey, buddy. Uh, hi, Gary. Hello. Hi, hello. Hello, I am Gary. Who are you? Well, I'm Kaz. Hello, Kaz. Good to meet you. What is Kaz doing down here? Be polite. Oh, you know, I'm just looking around. Oh, hey, Gary likes looking too. Gary now looking for a way out of this dump. Gary not having much luck, though. Where are you trying to go, Gary? Hi away. Hi away and far up for popping. Popping and then new Gary everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Settle down, Gary. Gary doesn't like to settling. Gary wants to traveling and popping. Can go far up and high away? Maybe taking Gary with you, eh? So maybe we can take Gary with us. Uh... So, maybe slight spoilers. I knew that you could talk to Gary. You know, small spoilers. Uh, he was actually a really interesting guy. Grab that mug. Benjamin Crockett. He showed up way too early. Uh, Beauregard Skeleton Captain 3rd Cavalry. The grave is really noisy. 
Hey, buddy. Oh, I'm not getting past it without a scuffle. And then a scuffle it is. Okay. So, I want to use my bean shield. Ba-bam. And then I want to cast a bean fireball. Whoppa. Hell yeah. Smacked him. Smacked him good. Bonk him. Bonked him good. Hell yeah. Gained three XP. That guy just wouldn't stay put. Ooh, I'm invisible. Oh yeah. Hello, spooky ghost. Approach ya. Hello there, I'm a friend, okay? Nay, that's strange. How'd you get to how'd you do that without opening your mouth? Pet her on the nose. Pet the horse's nose, which is very cold. If you're on a rider, would you want an extra saddle blanket to keep your butt from freezing? Do it again. Yep, still cold. Maybe there's a secret. Okay, just give it the oats. Yeah, all down a handful of but she just sort of stares right through you. Please don't look at me like that. Try the oats again. But the horse continues to ignore them. What's the matter? Are they not spooky enough? I'm not sure I can make oats spooky. I guess I can put some bone meal on them, but I don't have anything handy to grind up those bones with. Grave dirt? Is that a yes? Okay, weird. Yay! And with that, she glides off. Okay. Timothy Cochrane, devoted husband. Elizabeth Cochrane, beloved daughter. Silas Cochrane, a baby. Jesus. That's depressing. Got the whole family tree. Where's the wife, though? Also, the dancing. It's pretty good. Let's go to Thousand Snake Sculch. Oof. Ow. Uh, the snake looks sleepy. The snake looks sleepy, but not that sleepy. Maybe I can do something with that later. Let's go to All Hole Mine. I want that outhouse shovel. Look behind it. Yeah, shovel. Now I get to dig. Dig through that. I got meat. Also, yay. And I found an empty beer glass. Triple yay. Or whole mine. Examine the controls. Uh, cargo elevator control. Uh, blasting cap storage, plungers, both kinds, and tools. Let's go to level one. Leave it alone. Big throat, an unrefined meat nugget. Ah, so if I get a plunger, I can plunge that, I guess. Okay, I'm going to need a crowbar. So send it to level 3. Level 3 will probably have a crowbar for me. Also, the heater is starting to get a bit warm. Okay. Pick the lock. Yeah, now i got a crowbar. So now give me a blasting cap. Because I'm going to need that. Got a blasting cap. And now I'll need a plunger. Bada bing! So now, look up the plunger. Do it. Yep. Had a blasting cap. Okay. Kaboom! Give me that meat. Go up. Dig. We got a silver nugget. Someone put. Just sell it. Shiny nugget of silver. That one doesn't say just sell it. So I might be able to do something with it. You see a dark horse, barely. Hey there, girl. It's okay, I'm a friend. Me. <laughs> and uh, the high, the horse, the b -b -b the horse shies away from you. Though in this case, it's more like cripplingly introverted away from you. Reassure her. Don't look like that. I brought some oats for you. They aren't poison or anything. An extra expect I suppose that wasn't a very comforting thing to say. Pat her on the nose. And the horse, ah, hey, feed her the oats. Take a handful of oats and hold them out to the horse. Here you go, yum yum. Snort. She sidles away from you, wearing and makes a surprisingly good attempt at hiding in her own shadow. Come on, please. Look, they're fine, okay? See, you take a handful from the bag and toss some in your mouth. Oh, it's like eating the roughest, blandest breakfast cereal you've ever eaten. Still better than dry cat food. Don't ask. You smile and show the horse that you're fine and realize that you've unconsciously turned around and walked out the door. Jeez, these are powerful. The horse looks away you warily as you enter with a cheerful wave. See, perfectly fine. Here you go, yum yum. Ah. The horse hunches on her shirt and actually seems to shrink trying to lose your pat on her nose, but she doesn't actually flee, so that's something. There's a good girl. Feed of the oats. The horse finally seems relaxed enough to around you, so you offer her a handful of the oats. Warily, begrudgingly, she eats them, and then she gestures at something behind you. You turn around to look, but don't see anything. When you turn back, she's gone. Ooh. <clears throat> Either way, we're done here. We got our stuff. We're good. 
So the only other place we can go really is the Thousand Snakes Gulch. So let's go kill us some snakes. Let's just go double father then. Shall we? Do it again. Oh no wait, no, that ends my turn. Okay. Do it again. Why not? Hey, it won't be long before they call me Snake Murder and Kaz. Another snake? Well, I guess it is called Snake Gulch. Okay, let's just... Cast a spell. And then I'll shoot him, I think. Bop, 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 bonk. Ow. Am I poisoned? I am poisoned. Jack, take that. And 3 EXP. Snakes looks really angry. You're gonna need to every trick in the book to beat this one. I'm good at tricks. Okay. Just in case that wasn't being sarcastic, I'm gonna armor up. Love the bean. <clears throat> oh yeah, this one's got way more health. So which one of these does more damage? Five to six. Five to six. Shaman. And he should be dead next turn, maybe. If I'm lucky. One more. It's okay though, because we've got that the strongest bean armor that the world has ever seen. Hell yeah. You could always get a job as a snake exterminator. Oh. 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 Cactus. Okay. This horse has gone snake crazy, or maybe he wants another kind. Or maybe he was some other kind of crazy before. Hey boy. All right, it's all cool. Don't freak out on me. Look him in the eyes. You calmly look at the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand yard scan. The other is revolving madly in its socket, like he's thinking of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. It looks to be calming down a little now that it's clear you aren't actually made of spiders, though. Pat his nose. Carefully, gently pat the horse's nose. He twitches a bit. Okay, a lot. But he seems to recognize that you aren't going to eat his eyes or suck out his soul or whatever. Madness is bouncing around in that skull of his. That's a good boy. Yeah. Feed him the oats. Are you hungry, boy? I got a little treat for you. <laughs> You feed the crazy horse some of the homing oats and it gallops away with a winning or other. Hopefully he's headed home and not to the 12th dimension. Oh, you don't have to walk all the way back over there. Hit M or click the map icon to travel quickly. Ah, that's nice. Bada bing. Let's head to the horse storage. Now, I don't know how you spotted her hiding in that mine, but here's a thanks for sending back my dark horse. Looks like my pale horse made it back safe. Thanks for your help. Ah, thanks for finding my crazy horse. He was eating loco weed again, wasn't he? Not that I noticed. That's all of them. I can't thank you enough. Here's a little extra for you. Thanks. <clears throat> Can you sell me a horse? Uh. Ooh. I'll take the shifty looking dark one. Good choice. She's a sneaky one. And I'll sell you to you for a thousand meat. When you say sneaky. Well, she's real quiet and she likes dark places. Yeah, I remember. And just look how she's trying to hide behind the other horse there. She seems pretty smart. I'll take her. Thanks. Here's the keys. Ride safe. Hey, I got an achievement. Oh, she's going to be called... Uh... Oh. Uh, um... Shadow... Oh, no. Nah, hold on. Invisible. Yeah. The wow joke. Oh, no. I was completely forgot. Fruit every horse purchase is a complimentary map. Hey! Yuck. Oh wait, I can shovel the poop! Hell yeah! Bam. Shovel all that poop. Shovel it. Recovered mug! Oh, that's the good stuff. Alright, bar. I found these mugs. 75 meat. Just thought I'd say howdy. You Susie Cochrane. I saw the graves in the cemetery. I'm sorry for your loss. I I saw it happen. Saw the whole damn thing and couldn't do nothing about it. The bartender said it was cows. Cows, right. I don't know what those things are, but they ain't cows. Not anymore. What happened? It was a raid. See, Ma and Pa used to wrench cattle back before, well, before they came home. Pa didn't make it, but Ma and I managed to rebuild. We wrenched pigs instead, and she left me the place when she passed. Well, I guess a passing herd sniffed out that it used to be a cow ranch, and they attacked a couple of days ago. 
Happened so fast I didn't even have time to get my rifle out of the gun safe. Cows smashed in the front door and fire started out by the back of the root cellar. House went up in flames, just like that. I, there wasn't anything I could do. Couldn't up, get upstairs to the kids because of the fire. And I saw Sim, trim, eh, Tim trampled right in front of me. I just... I didn't want to talk about it anymore. What will you do now? Head west, I suppose. Nothing keeping me here. No desire to stay. I can't leave without my rifle, though. It was Mars rifle. It's all I got left to anybody. Left it at the ranch like a damn fool. Listen, can I ask you a favor? I need someone to go get it for me. Yeah, I'll get it. Where's the ranch? Cochrane Ranch, 1891. There's a bathtub here. All the water in the trough has boiled away. Oh, wow. It has indeed burned to the ground, hasn't it? Outhouse? This outhouse is the only thing still standing. Go through anyway. Okay, this is kind of ominous. Um, yeah, alright. Those pies were not safe. Ooh, I got a varmint skin and knife. What's that do? Oh, nice! Can I equip that? Yeah, I've got it equipped. This thing looks angry. You're not going to make it to that safe without dealing with it. So. Uh. Well, let's armor up. The other thing is, he looks kind of fiery. Yeah, he's a pyrobo. Yeah, fire resistance, 50. It'll only take four. So I may as well hit him with the pistol. Bam. Ooh. Ooh, shit, that hurts. Okay, let's take him out. Get him. Bam. Fuck you, cow. 6 EXP. Hell yeah. Let's get some guns. Susie's rifle. It's an old rifle, but it obviously has been well cared for. There are six little notches carved into the stock. I've also got EXP. How much have I got? 33. Ooh. Ooh, 10 base. That doubles the base damage. Wow, that's expensive as shit. Did I have Hellbender before? I must have. Okay, let's take a point in Hellbender. Because that seems cool. And then I've still got... I've got a little bit left. Not sure how much left. Less than 25... Ah, oh, so I've probably got 20 left. Let's take a point in Mysticality. Let's take two points in Mysticality, actually. We are a Magican, after all. And Magicans should go for Magicality. Outhouse. Nope. So I can't do anything at that outhouse, unfortunately. Not yet, anyway. You find my rifle yet, stranger? Yep, here she is. Susie's eyes well up with tears as you go into the rifle. And she roughly scrubs the sleeve across her face before any of them spill over. Thanks, stranger. I didn't catch your name. Thanks, Kaz. Can't rightly say what this means to me. She looks at the rifle for a long moment, then looks back up at you and she sighs. Well, that's enough wallowing in misery. Time for me to hit the road. And if you want me to tag along with, when you head west, just say the word. Um... Uh, apply in the Yuma Marshall store. <laughs> Wanted poster artist, alright. Um, howdy. Give me the dynamite. No more trades, thanks. Hey, lady. Um, is everything alright? That depends on how fast I can get this whiskey in my bloodstream compared to how fast my liver filters it out, and I can't talk and drink at the same time. What's, uh, what's the matter, Doc? What's the matter? The whole damn world's gone to hell in a horse cart. You ask me what's the matter? Bandits, cow demons, dead men walking. Why don't you go ahead and pick one and I'll drink to that. Dead men walking? You haven't seen it? Corpses and skeletons staggering around like puppets with half their strings cut. We're going to take a bite out of the living. Oh yeah, there was, there was a skeleton in the cemetery. So let's get some outside confirmation that I'm not losing my damn mind. How is that possible? It is impossible. It goes against everything I know about medicine. Dead patients don't get back up. Patient? Oh... Every doctor loses one now and again. You never get used to it, but, well, it happens. But what doesn't happen is them coming back afterward and looking for revenge. 
Rough? Buddy, I don't think you comprehend the situation. It's not just patients, it's friends, neighbors, husbands. Um, indeed. Uh, what's the deal with all the TNT? It's so when I feel like I'm about to go, I can blow myself into bits so small, there won't be nothing left to come back. Drastic hell, no way am I taking the risk of becoming one of those things. There you go. Do you have any idea what's causing them? A rumor? When you get incomplete information from a, when, uh, a rumor, what is it? It's when you get incomplete information from an unverified source. Anyway, what I heard is there's a fella out west that's causing it. A necromancer, they call him. Supposedly, he's sending magic out into the world somehow. Magic like we beanslingers use? I've never heard of any beanslingers raising the dead, have you? That'd be one hell of a can of beans. About that necromancer. Well, maybe there's some someone ought to try to stop him. You? Because I know you ain't talking about me. Why not you? A grey-haired old woman that knows about as much as fighting as a squirrel no surgery? Did you hit your head on a bar stool, kid? You aren't that old. And if I remember, and if I were going to pick up someone to go up against the necromancer, it would be nice to someone who knows about death, but in a scientific way. A doctor, right? Doc Alice stares hard at you and takes a swig from her bottle, saying nothing. And it sounds to me like you've got plenty of motivation to do the jo get the job done for your friends and, and everyone. And it beats doing nothing anyway. It beats locking yourself into a house full of TND and drinking yourself to death. You aren't even doing any doctoring anymore. You seriously expected me to ride out west by myself chasing a rumor? Doesn't have to be by yourself. Doesn't have to be by yourself. I'm heading out west too. Tag along with me. Maybe we can find the guy and put a stop to him. Possible or like raising the dead is impossible? Alright, kid. What the hell? Let's give it a shot. No, I can't take the TNT. Alright. Um... I think we've got everywhere now. <laughs> Look at that soap. He's so proud of that soap. So where's my horse? Uh, once you leave Boring Springs, you won't be able to come back. Any unfinished business you've got will forever remain unfinished. Are you sure you're ready to leave? Alrighty then, you're properly horsed and ready to start. Your new life in the West. All you need now is a partner. Somebody to share your trail with. Somebody you can rely on for emotional and combat support. Ooh. So I can take Crazy Pete, the weird old prospector boy, Doc Alice, the drunk doctor that wants to kill the necromancer, Susie Cochrane, the chick who lost everyone to a herd of cows, or Gary the Goblin. And I mean, I gotta take the Goblin, right? Everyone else is just a person, but Gary, Gary's a Goblin. We will take head back to the saloon's basement and smuggle Gary out under your coat. Discover a new map location, the town of Dirtwater, and the Manifest Destiny Railroad Road Camp. Hell yeah. Hey Gary buddy. And I got my black horse. Hey buddy. Go away. Invisible wind is as you approach. Come her main. She win is slightly shyly. Leave her alone for now. Hey partner. Want two more goblins meeting? Gary's hearing about goblins in an old fort nearby. Am I forgetting about anything? Yeah, okay, let's rent a room. Hello? Oh no. Okay. We'll do this and we'll end it off. This is the spittoon, which is a sort of brass bucket that people spit into instead of spitting on the floor because not spitting at all is not an option in this society, I guess. I th say this despite knowing that you're pretty intimately familiar with spittoons already. Sicko? Look, the jewel salons are pretty nice as saloons go. Actual glass in the windows, more than two kinds of drinks, and a poker room instead of a cockfighting pit. This spittoon is still a spittoon. The rancid tobacco sit spit inside isn't fancy. Rancid tobacco spit. Here we go again. Alright, fine. You're now hunkered down next to a brass filth bucket, which will probably never been cl which has probably never been cleaned or emptied because you're near the desert, and the ambient humidity around here is pretty low. Low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quick as it accumulates. So that's good, right? No, that's bad, because it's only the water part that's spit that evaporates. The brass bucket is half full of the rest of the spit, the toxins and filth that doesn't evaporate. Several years worth, distilled and concentrated until its consistency of m molasses. Ugh. People aren't allowed to flick cigarette butts into the spittoon anymore because they bounce out. You're about to put your hand into a bucket of something the color and viscosity of maple syrup. Except instead of maple, it's flavoured with the inside of mouths of people who chew cigars instead of smoking them and have never brushed their teeth. Glorp. 
You f it feels like putting your hand into a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding. Except instead of tapioca, it's basically poison. It smells like someone ran over a skunk, waited a week, and then set it on fire. It feels like your hand is dissolving. You found something. You found a tacky, filth-covered porcelain cow figure. A useless, disgusting thing you will that will make a great heirloom for your children, assuming you're still able to have any and you hate them. Ugh. Offhand. Hey, plus three spell damage. Yeah. Alright. With that gross shit out of the way, I'm going to call it here, everybody. So I would like to thank everybody for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.